Hey guys, I want to share with you the easiest way I've found to make sure that the bed of my sawmill is flat and that is using a laser level like this one. It's a self-leveling um, laser level. Um, that's all you need. I used to use the string method and that's when you tighten a uh, string uh, from one end of the bed to the other end and no matter how tight I pulled it there'd still be a slight sag in the middle and with that slight sag then you're cutting all your boards with a slight dip in it it doesn't matter too bad if you're just cutting one board right after the other but if you're turning the boards then you'll tell it'll kinda make a bow in the middle of that board so it's slightly thicker in the middle of your board or beam that you're cutting so with this laser level it's perfectly flat and I'll show you how I do that. So my sawmill is the Timber King 1220 as you can see. It's Timber King's entry level uh, manual sawmill so there's no hydraulics on it. Um, and it also sits on the ground so it's not on a trailer. There is a trailer package but this one doesn't have it. So but I got, I got mine sitting on two uh, beams going parallel with the uh, bed of the sawmill. And I found that that's the best way of doing it. Um, but basically this will work with any sawmill that sits on the ground like this. I don't have experience with the sawmills that come with the portable trailer package. Um, it may be similar. Uh, I wouldn't know so you might be able to use this method with that as well. So, so this is how I do it. Um, the laser level comes with a small little attachment that's magnetic and it basically attaches down here it's got a spot for a tripod connection down here this little magnetic connection will fit right in here you just tighten it down and you'll spin it forward like this I'll take the laser level and then I'll stick it on the end of the sawmill bed like that and you'll, you'll try to pick it up maybe two inches off the, the bed height so you first need to make sure that you tighten the blade at the designated tightness of your sawmill and then you will pull this as wide open as it can go that way you're measuring the full length of this cutting the full cutting width of the sawmill and before you do that you want to make sure that this bar right here is um, parallel to your uh, sawmill bed because uh, if you don't do that then if it's fully extended here and it's just slightly off then the height of your blade will change when you um, extend it all the way out. So just make sure that this bar right here is parallel to the bed frame of your sawmill. Next what you do is you turn on the laser level and what it starts out as a cross like this. I, can't know, I don't know if you can tell. Um, so there's a perpendicular line and a horizontal line. If you change through the modes, you can get it to just the horizontal line. And that's what you need. On this particular laser level, there's a lock on the bottom. You want to unlock it, and that way, that makes it um, self-leveling. So then, your line is perfectly level. If the line is flashing, that means uh, you need to adjust your laser level so it's a little closer to level to start with um, because it's hitting some something and causing it to go slightly out of level. So this one is just slightly flashing. The next thing you'll do is you'll raise your blade so it's just touching the laser line.
If you're doing this outside in the daytime, it's pretty bright. So what I use is a white piece of paper and you can tell if it's hitting the, if the laser line is hitting the blade. So what you do is you'll start with the head of the sawmill as close as you can to the laser. If you start on the opposite side and move your way uh, towards the laser, it will mess up the back side of the sawmill. So make sure you start closest to the laser first, as close as you can to the adjustment points on your sawmill. So I'll pull this as close as I can without hitting the laser. So then what I do is I'll take my paper and I'll look to see if that line, so the laser beam is slightly thicker than the saw blade. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the saw blade right in the middle of that laser line. And the way you can tell if it's in the middle is if you put a piece of paper on the back side and you'll see two small laser lines instead of just one solid one. So what I need to do here is I need to adjust this side to lower and this side to lower. So that means I'm just going to lower the whole head of the saw mill just a little bit. Now that the blade is where I want it here, I'm going to move it to the next point where I can adjust, make the adjustment. Basically, you'll keep doing this adjustment all the way till you get to the end of the sawmill. Once you get to the end of the sawmill, then you can come back and check and make sure nothing moved on you while you're making adjustments. So something important to remember here is when you first adjust the blade to the line, laser line um, in the beginning, make sure that you leave it there. Do not adjust the blade from there on out. Only adjust the bed of the sawmill. So if the laser line is thicker above the uh, saw blade, you have to raise the bed of your sawmill. If it's thicker below the blade of the sawmill, you have to lower the bed of your sawmill. I'll add a link in the description of where you can get this laser level. I don't know if they sell the exact same model, but if they do, I'll add that description, or I'll add that link in the description, or an equivalent one to this one. Uh, really, all you need is a cheap one, even if it doesn't do perfectly level. All you need is a flat reference line, and if it holds a flat reference line, then it'll work. Um, good enough for what you'll need on your sawmill. I hope this video is helpful and it helps you adjust your sawmill. And make sure you're cutting nice straight boards. If you like videos like this and if you want to see more content on the sawmill, make sure that you're subscribed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.